Hi everyone, my name is Fiona, and in this lesson, students are going to learn how to transform a melody, um, both rhythmically and melodically, using four very simple compositional techniques. And these techniques can be applied to melodies, motifs, um, themes, and other melodic units to kind of further develop uh, these things and uh, expand what you're working on as a composer. So the estimated time for this activity is 20 minutes, and the learning, the learning objective is as follows. In groups, students will present a composition technique to the class by summarizing material in a handout, which I will give you, and then applying that technique to a melody, which I will write on the board. So we're going to start, uh, you're gonna choose, you guys are going to get into groups based on which card you choose. So why don't you pick a card? <laughs> the illusion of choice. Because <laughs> we're missing a person, so I have to make sure. Sure. <laughs> All the parts are covered. Okay, so who has hearts? Actually, before I do that, let me hand out these handouts, which will talk about the different um, compositional. I think you'll be reading about. Okay, so who has hearts? You're going to be reading about augmentation. Who has clubs? You will be reading about diminution, diamonds, inversion, and spades, spades, retrograde. Cool, so you guys have five minutes to read this and figure out how you want to summarize it to the class. And I'm going to write a melody on the board, which you will apply your technique to. Ready, set, go. I'm also going to hand you out some scratch paper, so if you want to practice drawing the melody on here. The melody that is on our example? Um, no, I am going to draw it on the board. Oh, okay. You'll transform that melody nice. in your presentation. In And we just need to read our thing. Just right read now? your thing, and then you want to apply your technique to this original. Oh, copy. okay. With in, uh, I have a question. Should mm -hmm. I ask now? Or? Oh yeah. With inversion, mm -hmm. would you like us to invert at unison or mm -hmm. in a particular yeah. interval? Um. The so, example you gave is inverted of a fifth. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So yeah, if it goes up a fifth, you're gonna go down. No, I mean in terms of it's like direct conversion. You just want us to copy the intervals uh, the yeah. opposite way. Yeah. So we'll start from C. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I gave you the hard one. The harder one. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. Actually, I haven't done inversion in a while, so it's okay. Really, it's nice. <laughs> I'm just coming up with further variations. Oh, okay. I'm ready. Is everyone done? Does anyone need more time? Okay, let's move on then. So let's start with augmentation. So who's doing augmentation? All right. So, so Alan. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, for the board. Yeah. <laughs> augmentation would be so we can either take uh, this melody, or if we're calling it a theme, or even the um, just like the rhythmic motif and we're going to stretch that out instead of where diminution would be shortening these notes for the melody, we're gonna expand it. So what, I'm gonna be very literal about it and we're just gonna use the same melody and everything, but I'm just going to stretch it out so it's now, um, because this is clearly in 4-4. No, this isn't something, we'll just, we're gonna make this in 4-4 next, and. Great. Yeah, 
Yeah, very good. Awesome. Any questions on augmentation? So just to clarify, it is the doubling yes. of notes. Rhythmic. Yes. Doubling of, your, double. of your melody. Or it just said, here it just says longer note values. It's usually, it does say that it's usually two or more. But you can do like three halves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> typically just by the book, it's doubling it. Mm -hmm. but, um, but it has a rational relation. I mean, it has a relationship. Yes. A, a yeah. very strict relationship still to the original rhythms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Doesn't matter if it's doubling or tripling or not, but it, it, right. was, it keeps the same rhythmic identity. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Alex. All right, so next, diminution. Me. <laughs> So diminution is the opposite of augmentation. It is when we take the same rhythmic motive and uh, subdivide it, um, or or uh, we can do exactly the same thing, just have or some proportional rhythmic relationship, but smaller rhythmic relationship as opposed to larger. So I wrote. The, I'll, I'll do the easy one. So just as augmentation takes double the amount of time, diminution takes half the amount of time. Very good. Awesome. Any questions about diminution? Very clear? Okay, great job. All right, inversion. Inversion. So that's where the melody, uh, well, we're talking about melodic inversion, so the, the melody is flipped. Uh, yeah, so then that makes the contour flipped as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Questions on inversion? Good. Okay, and finally, retrograde. Yeah, um, retrograde is uh, basically when you have a melody and um, you are rewriting it so that it is in reverse or backwards. So um, you can have either an exact retrograde, which would be that the melody and the rhythm stay the same, or the pitch and the rhythm stay the same, or um, you can have a normal retrograde where it would just be the, the rhythm. So this is what um, an exact retrograde would look like. That's just the reverse of that. And then um, I wrote one with different notes, but uh, you get the idea. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Good job, you guys. Okay, just as an assessment, um, someone tell me what does augmentation mean? That's not me. That's not you. <laughs> Make bigger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make the notes longer from the original melody. Uh, someone tell me what diminution means. It means smaller. 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 Yeah. Okay. Proportionally. Proportionally. Yes. yes. And what does inversion mean? Invert the original melody. Right. Yeah. So we're taking the different uh, interval relationships, right? You're kind of flipping them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, very good, and retrograde. Backwards. Yes, yeah. very good, class. So, so I have a question. Uh, yeah. So um, it looks like augmentation and dimin diminution are rhythmic transformations. Yes. And inversion and retrograde are, are pitch transformations. Exactly, yeah. But I heard Marguerite say something about a rhythmic inversion. Well, I said that we've done a what we were dealing with here is a melodic conversion. Yeah, so what's not a melodic conversion? I, I think, mean, well, hmm. you, yeah, totally there are, you can invert any musical parameter, right? Just yeah, you can keep, so, so when you do inversion, concept. sometimes you can keep the rhythms exactly the same, or you can, you know, you can actually combine these, do like augmentation plus inversion or retrograde augmentation, diminution, inversion, so you can actually combine them 
so that they, um, you know, you're dealing with both uh, two different elements. But yeah, the top two deal with more rhythmic, kind of transforming of a melody, and these deal with more of a melodic kind of transformation of a melody. So if you wanted to rhythmically invert something, you could just look at it as how many, how much of the measure is any individual note taking up, and then flip it so that it's taking up a different proportion of the measure. Here's the I won't play the original melody. And here's the augmentation. And then diminution. And then inversion. And then retrograde. So choose, pick one that you haven't done and apply it to a melody that you come up with yourself. And you have three minutes. Ready, set, go. So we'll show you the original melody as well as yes. the transformation. Yes, write the original melody and then your transformation of it. And then we're going to write it up on the board. Yeah, they're just different types of inversion. <laughs> I hear you <laughs> You can finish.
playing some Dory music today. <laughs> Solidian is. Hiding. Yeah. <laughs> Hiding on my mind. <laughs> it's funny because d- diminutions in early music mean a very different thing than that. What does it mean? Um, like just smash in as many notes as you can. Right. Like elaborate a melody. I mean, in specific ways, but it's like fill in all the intervals. Yeah, it's a specific kind of ornamentation, though. It's like, take all of, take, if you have a quarter note, make those into straight 30 second notes or something. So this is the original. like, (laughs) (laughs) And like arpeggiations and, yeah. Or here's Alex, um, Urdal. Versions always sound really funky. Well, it, it oftentimes just changes the mode too. Yeah, it's like written upside down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, cool. Funny because. 